live beyond yourself live beyond yourself your recognition in time and eternity is based on your contribution only a fool lives for himself life is beyond you if it's it surrounds you immediately you became born again god will just take you off is that not so you'll have just raptured you to heaven so you don't even need to commit any blunder and miss it again but he kept you here because you are now responsible to show others the light you have now seen live beyond yourself I remember one time a young man came to me and was panting for the anointing. And I went fast. And he replied to me after three days. He says, I can't see myself not eating and others are eating. And he wants to start church. He can't see himself. He's like, I, I was confused. That time, the woman that will marry him is in trouble. Because the day that man of God will be in fasting, family will not chuffle though. It will be a corporate fasting. When God tells him fast, he surrounds the family with it. Do we understand that? First Timothy, I think, at 6 and verse 7. He said, we came to this world with nothing. And we will live out of this world with what? Nothing. All your accomplishment, everything, buy and afford, you will drop it here. Live beyond yourself. What are your contributions in the lives of others? Contributions to God's kingdom. What can you say I've done? I've done for others. Are we together? Next one. Full utilization of your potential. Full utilization of your potential. It is your duty to download everything inside of you and your generation. It's your duty. When we were growing up, I had friends of mine who have certain kinds of sermon they will not preach. Till the day they have a hundred thousand crowd. They are storing it. Those sermon is not for small people. They keep them empty yourself on your generation don't be scared for people to know what you know it doesn't change the fact that you will be better than me the full deployment of your act 20 and verse 20 paul said i have held not i have emptied myself i gave all did you see that he said and how i kept back nothing that was profitable to you why he said i know something i will not tell them i know something will... are you a fool something that by tomorrow morning with my head here you are not you are not here again you are gone. That's why the great Miles Moral will go to the grave. You see the heightened level of potentials there. They died with it thinking there was a perfect day to release it. Empty yourself on your generation. Empty yourself. Everything I know, I like to make sure some in a few minutes. Once anybody comes to me, I say, do you know, you know there's something like this and like this, like this. What will it do there in the grave? What are you storing? What are you keeping? A full deployment of your potential. Some of you are not just choir members but songwriters. But your altar will not allow you. Because even the God Himself, you are not serious with. Your altar will not allow you. You are still dragging with yourself. See, I will not, if they give you a song, I will not take. And inside of you are volumes of albums. You already say, I will not take. Download yourself. Don't hold on anything. Everything you have poised, pour it on people. Ingratiate yourself in others. Raise others like you. Impact them them do we understand that number six live a disciplined life ecclesiastes 10 and verse 16 to 17 live a disciplined life and first corinthians 10 and verse 23 live a disciplined life ecclesiastes 10 18 said that through much slothfulness a house commits to ruin through much folding idleness of hands it decays discipline is the difference between what is lawful and what is expedient Discipline is the control valve of destiny. Do we understand that? So what are the things you should be disciplined in? Number one, your time. Number one, your time. Be disciplined. Psalm 90 verse 12. He said, teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto us. Live life with a sense of urgency. Some of you, I cannot know how serious you are even by the way you walk. Go and do as if there is no, no bone in the inside of you. Life with a sense of urgency. So if a rapture takes place by tomorrow now, all your achievement is BSC. Rapture takes you, they brought you to this earth. It's BSC. Something is wrong with you. Be disciplined in your use of your time. Live with a sense of urgency. Do you understand that? Time wasters are destiny wasters. Number two, be disciplined in your taste. Verse 23 and verse 2. He said, And put a knife to thy throat. If thou be a man given to appetite, be disciplined in your taste. Not everything you see that you have. You can't eat to till the spirit of gluttony comes on you. Some of you, if the Holy Ghost tells you not to take a meal now, you won't hear. 
few years ago, somebody gave me fruits, plenty. She just gave it to me. And while I went to drop it, the Holy Ghost said, keep it, continue your work. And I kept it. In five minutes, she ran mad. They had to call me. What happened? And I told the fruit was rotten. So that will have been what will happen inside my stomach. Some of you will have looked at it. Abu, 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 gado. Because of indiscipline in your appetite. Number three, be disciplined in your thoughts. Philippians 4 and 8. Don't think wrongly. Don't think like your village people. Discipline in your thought. He said, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are of good report, whatsoever things are worthy of praise, think on these things. Force yourself to reason like that. I stand here right now and I say to some of you, and I say to some of you, by this time, they take you abroad. He said, me, hey, stop it. Say, this pastor can wine people. Because of your mindset. Whatsoever things are good, think it. What did I say you should do? Think it. That's what the scripture says. Think it. Be disciplined in your talk. First Peter 3 and verse 10. First Peter 3 10. Be disciplined in your talk, the way you talk. It says that he that will love life. First Peter 3 10. And want to see good days. Let him refrain his tongue from speaking evil and guile. He that loves what? Life. I want to see good days. You just wake up very early in the morning. You tell your friend, the way my body they do me, bless her, they sick. <laughs> he bless you. Enter the apple in a sickness. So. <laughs> this exam now if I see E God is faithful what is wrong with you he that wants to see life and enjoy good days should control the way he talks don't be caught you don't want to see it's not positive thinking it's scriptures be disciplined in your speech for there is a way a believer talks Those around me you can't tell me something is finished I tell you stop it or I'm talking to your phone you say sir I'm broke I say don't bring any nonsense to my world stop it there's a language of a believer. There's a way we talk. I have edict. Is it your property? Be disciplined in your treasure. Proverbs 10 and verse 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand. But the hand of the agent maketh rich. The way you manage resources, be disciplined in your treasure. Not everything you see, you swallow. Everything that the Bible says, He giveth seed to the sower and bread to what? The eater. So everything that comes to your hand is not just a bread, it's a seed and a bread. No farmer goes to harvest season and carry everything and eat it. He separates the best to plant against the next season so he can have a better harvest. Be disciplined in the way you manage your treasure, your resources. Be disciplined in it. Avoid show of mentality, avoid it. You are using an iPhone of 3 million naira and you are begging for onions. Remove the one at the back. Somebody is using iPhone. You that your own is rubber ring used to tight. He's begging for matches. So your job is to fund his stupidity. There is time for everything. And you must understand that about life. There are levels you get to and God has lifted you. There is no show off. You can afford it. Do we understand that? Be disciplined in your treasure. How you manage resources. Be disciplined in it. Be disciplined in your team, your association. Your company determines what accompanies you in life. Who surrounds you determines what you survive. Your link is your lot. Your contact is your contract. Your network is your network. Proverbs 13 20. Say that what can do the wise shall be wise, but the companions of fools shall be utterly what? Destroyed. And 1 Corinthians 15 33. Be not deceived. That evil communication corrupt what? Good manners. Be discipline in your team. When it comes to choosing those around you, be righteously strict with it. Do we understand that? Be righteously strict with it. The temptations of every human being, right? Because every human being has a little trace of low self-esteem. If you're already complex. Every human. People just know how to manage theirs. Do we understand that? So the temptations of human being is to ensure that the way they choose their friends is not somebody that challenges them. Somebody that they are better than all at the same level. You, you get the point. Because by the time they bring somebody better than them, it begins to affect their esteem. So by the choice of friends, we can really tell whether there is a problem. Diligence. This is where to live a life of relevance. Diligence. Pro Ecclesiastes 10. It's my read that earlier. Said that through much softness of hand, a building is brought to ruin, and through much idleness is decayed. Success without labor is illusion. There is no excellence without labor. Ephesians 2 and verse 10. Refusal to walk is a malfunction of destiny. Action is the fuel of vision. Action is the fuel of what vision he said write the vision so that they may run that it puts you into emotion 
be diligent be willing to work hard faith does not suspend hard work grace itself does not first corinthians 15 verse 10 said by the grace of god i am what i am and his grace which was bestowed on me was not what in vain it made me walk you see me talking like this you think it's just about the inspiration of the holy spirit no i read the bible says, out of the abundance of the heart the mouth will speak so it is a function of what i have inside so the holy ghost can have what to pick from you see me so anointed you are wondering how for sense he said now we anoint your head with oil now i heard that they anoint head will get something you must have brain sense put work into what you are doing one time i gave some of my children some books they say but papa i want to know some things about mystery so i gave them just one pdf i made a page of five thousand or something pages. i said be done with it in three days <laughs> they say hey i say you are far from it <laughs> do you know what we have asked them i came here late at night till the night till the morning i was still i need to preach lord i don't i just came to me now let me bless the people <laughs> not because if you give me my to talk at any point i can i cannot talk do you understand that I need to deliver excellence, deliver quality, deliver right information. Be willing to walk. You will read like you will die. You want the anointing? You will pray like you will die. You will fast like you will die till you lose your delicate balance. Because you must get to that point where it is no longer you that lives. People should not see you again with Christ. Walk hard. Walk hard. Romans they say he that is called into the position of leadership should work hard. Work hard. I told you my prayer will never work for you if you were confident to enter an exam or know if you learn that you have nothing to write. Don't deceive yourself. God is not mocked. Even me, too, I'm not mocked. You will fail. You call you know from the knowing on your knowing that this thing I know read anything. Then you went and say, Holy Ghost, remind me of what? That's why is that movie what you are seeing. Because that's the only thing he has to remind you. Do we understand that? Christianity is not a place to displace your brain or displace the place of hard work. Grace makes you work what? Than nah, other apostles. Tell your neighbor, work hard. Read to a point you will have headache. Take paracetamol. I listen to a story from Benny Hinn. He said, keep searching for years the secret of Catherine Coman. She keeps talking about that there is a secret to the anointing. I keep searching for years. And one day I discovered the secret. What was it? Prayers. He said, you pray to a point you are sweating, you go to the bedroom, you shower, you come out and continue. There is no excuse to say the heat is too much. You bet you continue. If you are praying, you are hungry, you eat and continue. Peter did that. He was praying in Acts chapter 10. Hunger, catch up. Then he comes and smells the food for fire. Then he go back. Continue praying on the sea vision of food. There is no excuse when it comes to walking hard. A life of sacrifice. What type of pain in life? The pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Greatness is costly. Success is not cheap. It will cost you. Anything of value is expensive. You don't pick gold on the market square. Do you buy the champion's belt on the market square? You go to the market and say, I need Anthony Joshua's belt. You might see one, but it might be plastic. You might see one. Success is costly. Greatness is not cheap. How many of you want to live a life of relevance? If you know the word of God challenge you this morning, let me see your hand. Can you pray one prayer and say, Lord, all I have heard this morning, grant me grace to put them to work. It's one thing to hear the word, it's another thing to decide to make it a part of your life. Have respect unto instructions. The Bible says, Hold on to instruction for she is thy life. 